see you actually did it. Impressive. Something like that. <laughs> but something I will let you know. There are two ways to not end up a victim in my end. One, by following orders. And two, <laughs> by being a killer. And I don't see any killers here. People see a woman and they see weakness. But I'll tell you, you wouldn't last a day in my shoes. I dare you. Ask me why I do what I do. You did what you wanted. You brought our bosses. Now what? Who the fuck gave you permission to speak? Your mother. Oh, shit. We dying today. Look, we can work together. Nobody works with me. People work for me. You know, I don't mean to disrespect you, but like, who the fuck are you? Yeah, no, I hear you, I hear you. <laughs> Yo, so it's, who's this? Why are you not with your crew? Who's this? Right now, you're speaking to the member of the high table. Oh, 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 listen, listen, bro. I just had to go see my mom's real quick. I swear I'm coming back. You gotta understand. I want you to listen to me and listen to me carefully. Here is what is happening. The whole thing that your boys are going through is when they're up. Everyone is being set up. And they have all things in motion right now. As we speak, they are with their hands closed. And then you guys might know what to do. Listen, bro, listen. Listen, bro. That whole unknown corner situation is a setup, dog. Like it's a setup. They tested you, bro. Don't give them steezing time. You niggas gotta get out of there, bro. You just gotta get out of there, dog. It's not safe, bro. I just spoke to a guy from the high table, bro. This is a test. Dog, get out of there, gents. Come here, sweetie. Get me. 